to Math Lesson with Teacher Wana. This discussion is about geometry, understanding of solid figures. Good day, class. So, how are you? That's nice to hear. So, before we move on to our lesson, let us have first a recap about the last topic we have discussed. Louis, can you give us a brief recap about the discussion last meeting? Okay, very good. So, what's about solving routine and non-routine problems involving basic operations of integers? Very good, class! So, let me first present to you the lesson objectives that we need to achieve. So, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to First, describe the different solid figures such as cube, prism, pyramid, cylinder, cone, and sphere. Second, Evaluate the solid figures from plain figures. Lastly, illustrate the solid figures in the real world. So together, let's meet those objectives. Okay class, are you familiar with the Open the Magic Box activity? That's good! So I have here a magic box and inside of this magic box has different objects. All you have to do is to tap each box in turn to open them up and then choose or tell what kind of shape did you tap. Is that clear? Very good. So, who wants to tap first in the magic box? Anyone? Yes, Angel. Very good. Another. Who wants to try? Yes, Alex. Very good. Another. Who wants to try? Yes, Ellie. Very good. Another. Who wants to try? Yes, Max. Very good. Another. Who wants to try? Yes, Aaron. Very good. Another. Who wants to try? Yes, Ben. Very good. I thought all of you are already encountered this topic in your previous years. With that, it's easy for you to identify the object and their shape. Now, I want you to look around and all you want to do is to list down all the objects that you see in your surroundings. List as many as you can. Okay, I think that's enough. May I see your list? Very good, class. So, how do you think these things useful in our lives? Is it a piece of chocolate? Ice cream in a cone? Pringles in a cylinder can? And many more? So, these things can be found everywhere. So now let's have an activity for you to further understand the topic that we are discussing today. All you need to do is to, for letter A, you need to evaluate the following figures if it is a plain or solid figure. You may start now. Okay, let's proceed to letter B. For the letter B, let's help Dora and Boots to pick all the solid figures that they needed in this time of pandemic. But you need first to sing this song. Are you ready? Let's start. Come on, Mabanos. Everybody, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. What will you pick? 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 When I say ha ha, you say hooray, ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Okay, great job, class. So let's give a military clap for everyone. So based from the example and the activity that I gave to you a while ago, can anyone knows or guess what our topic for today is all about? Yes, Chris. Very good. So when you hear the word solid figures, what comes into your mind? Very good. Another? Yes, Kim. Very good. So when we say solid figures, these are the three-dimensional figures that have length, width, and the height. And as your classmate said a while ago, these are the common objects that you see and touch every day. So what about its properties? Can anyone tell what are the properties of solid figures? Yes, Sam? Very good. But aside from solid figures, how you can differentiate plain figures from solid figures? Yes, May? 
Very good. I think that you are already knows the difference between the two. So now I will show you its type and some examples to fully understand solid figures, which will help you a lot, as well as when you need to use it in your learning process. Solid figures are nothing but three dimensional geometric shapes, such as cylinder, cubes, prism, pyramids, spheres, cones, and etc. Based from the illustrations, can anyone describe what is a cube? Yes, Onin? Very good. What about sphere? Yes, Tyler? Very good. What about prism? Yes, me? Very good. What about pyramid? Yes, Mike? Very good. What about cylinder? Yes, Elise? Very good. What about cone? Yes, Joanna? Very good. So solid or 3D figures consist of faces, edges, and vertices. The flat part of the solid shape is known as face. Each corner of the face is known as a vertex. The point where two faces met is known as the edges. The solid figures contain three dimensions, the length, width, and the height. Examples of solid figures are computers, dice, containers, and so on. Aside from that, here are the examples and formulas in finding the area or volume of solid figures. For example, number one, in this case, if the volume of a cube is 216 centimeter cube, then what is the measure of the edge of a cube? Solution, given volume of a cube is equals to B equals 216 centimeters cube. We know that V is equals to side times 3 or edge times 3 is equals to 216 equals 63. Therefore, edge of the cube is 6 centimeter. For example, number 2, find the volume of the sphere of radius 28 centimeter. Given that sphere 1 radius of the sphere equals R equals 28 centimeter. Volume of the sphere 4 third pi R cube is equals to 4 third times 22 over 7 times 28 times 28 times 28 is equals to 4 times 22 times 28 times 28 times 4 is equals to 275,968 centimeter cube. Thus, the volume of the sphere is 275,968 centimeter cube. For example, number 3, the base radius and height of a right circular cone is 7 centimeter and 24 centimeter. Find its curved surface area and volume. Given that cone 1 radius is equals to R equals to 7 centimeter, height is equals to H equals to 24 centimeter, slant height is equals to L equals to square root of R squared plus H2. So L is equals to square root of 7 times 7 plus 24 times 24 centimeter, 25 centimeter. Curved surface area is equals to pi r l 22 over 7 times 7 times 25 centimeter squared. 550 centimeter squared. Total surface area pi r l plus pi r squared is equals to 550 plus 22 over 7 plus 49 times centimeter squared is equals to 550 plus 154 times centimeter squared is equals to 704 centimeter squared. Volume is equals to one third times pi r squared h is equals to one third times 22 over 7 times 49 times 24 centimeters cube is equals to 1,232 centimeter cube. Thus, the volume of the cone is 1,232 centimeter cube. For example, number four, a conical tent is three high and its base radius is four centimeter. Find the cost of the canvas required to make the tent at the rate of RS 60 per unit. Given that cone two radius is equals to R3, height is equals to H equals to four, slant height is equals to L 
equals to square root of r squared plus h squared equals to square root of 9 plus 16 equals to square root of 25 equals to 5. So, slant height of the tent is 5. The curved surface area is equals to pi r1. We know that pi is equals to 3.14. So, 3.14 times 4 times 5 is equals to 62.8. Therefore, canvas required for making tent is 62.8. Therefore, cost of the canvas at 65 per meter squared is equals to 65 times 62.8 is equals to 4,082. For example, number 5, the ratio and the height of the right circular cylinder are 7 cm and 10 cm. Find curved surface area, total surface area, and the volume. Given that cylinder, R is equals to radius, which is 7 cm, height equals to h 10 cm the curved surface area of a circular cylinder is equals to 2 pi r h so 2 pi r h is equals to 2 times 22 over 7 times 7 times 10 cm squared is equals to 440 cm squared so total surface area of a circular cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared equals to 2 times 22 over 7 times 7 times 10 plus 2 times 22 over 7 times 7 times 7 centimeters squared is equals to 440 centimeters squared plus 308 centimeters squared is equals to 748 centimeters squared. Volume of a circular cylinder is pi r h is equals to 22 over 7 times 7 times 10 cm squared is equals to 1,540 cm cube. Thus, the volume of the cylinder is 1,540 cm cube. For example number 6, the formula for the volume of a prism is V equals to BH where B is the base and H is the height. The base of a prism is a rectangle the length of a rectangle is 9 cm and the width is 7 cm. The area A of a rectangle with length L and width W is A equals to LW. So the base area is 9 times 7 or 63 cm squared. The height of the prism is 13 cm. Substitute 63 for B and 13 for H in V equals to BH. V is equals to 63 multiplied to 13. V is equals to 819. So V is equals to 819. Did you understand class? Very good. So now, let's try another activity for you to really understand what we are discussing right now. I will group you into two and you will know and identify the shape of the real life objects and write the number of faces, edges, and the vertices. Any questions so far? So are you ready? Let's start. Okay, I think you are done already. Now, can you present in front of the class your answers? Okay, great job class. Let's give yourselves a round of applause. Now, how did you complete the activity and what are the things you use to get the answer. Great answer! And then? Yes, Jen? Very well said! So in that process, you can easily identify and visualize the solid figures. Now, look at the things inside the classroom. Can you give me an example of plain and solid figures? Very good class! Once again, what is plain and solid figures? Very good! How about its three-dimensional geometric shapes? Very good! And it is consists of... And its dimensions are... Very good class! I hope that everyone learned from our discussion today and I hope that it will help you in the near future. For your evaluation, what you need to do is to identify which is being described by each statement below and write the correct answer in your paper. Is it clear class? Very good. So for your assignment number one, 
take a look and explore inside or outside of your house of any solid figures and then take a pictures of it or cut it and then paste it in a bond paper. Make it creative and catchy. And for number two, have an advanced study about sequence informing rules, expressions, and equations. Okay class, this will end our discussion and I hope that you learn a lot in our topic about geometry understanding solid figures. See you next meeting. Bye-bye!